Hello and welcome back to Project Zomboid. Today I will be trying to play Project Zomboid but with extreme heat. The idea was given to me by this person. Hopefully you were able to read their comment. I can't remember names well so I'm just gonna say this person for whoever gives me the idea. Sorry if I disappointed you. Um, why did that just level up my cooking? You know what, I'm not gonna ask. But yes, this is how this is gonna work. It's gonna be extremely hot, I'm guessing. So I wanna ditch all the insulators I don't need. And just wear as least as humanly possible. For now, this is good. I have a weapon and I have some other stuff. Uh, can actually... How is there a hiking bag? <laughs> this is not... I don't even know. What? There's two... What the fuck? I know I probably just got a strike for that because I swear it's like 10 seconds into the video, but why is there two hiking bags? That's not normal. Why is there two... What the hell? Why are there so many backpacks? Jesus. If I was in a normal looting run and I found this place, I'd be amazed. I don't know what the temperature is at the moment. Mint. I need a watch to know that. Alright, it's pretty hot since I'm already overheating. Hmm. I want a compression t-shirt because then that would, uh be the best a bit of clothing possible. Me wearing a bathrobe, compression shorts, and a, yeah, and a hat isn't the best at the moment. Okay, I didn't even see these zombies. <sighs> I wish there was more short blunt weapons in the uh, game, since that's what I am. I'm a short blunt weapon uh, main. Already a lot of zombies came. I would be uh, usually not using a knife for various reasons, but because I can't really wear clothing, I honestly could care less. Remove that, and then... Yeah, if you didn't know, you can uh, hit zombies sideways through windows like that. So if you're ever at a place where you don't want to enter a building, just do this. Yeah, I can't hit them now, but like now, since they w fell down, I can run in and slice them up. Why is there so much loot? Lots of bourbon bottles. Alright, they're dead. I'm taking your hat because your hat looks better than my hat. Yeah, on the ground there's a bunch of bourbon. Good for disinfectant. Maybe they got drunk. I don't know. I'm gonna drink this and then fill it up with water. I love not having uh, having an insane amount of an insane amount of uh, insanity. It's amazing. Hey, a frying pan. That's good. Gonna need as much water as humanly possible because I have a feeling that's the way I'm gonna die. All right, that's filled. It's 71 in the house. Holy shit. That's a bit hot. I like how Bulbin has nutrition. Uh, Alright. Uh, compression stuff. I'll take the painkillers and band-aids. I'm looking for a compression t-shirt. Alright, where's the school? How close am I to the school? Ah, darn it. Well, the school's not going to be an option. 
to get a shot. It's 115 outside? Holy shit. Ah, oh, you scratched my foot. That's mean. I, I know they didn't actually scratch my foot, but you know what I mean. Where's the map yet? I need to take off gunfight or mod. It's a bit annoying, not gonna lie. Hey, I was about to say, hey, a chance for cars, but just more zombies. That's too much insulation. There we go. I'm no longer. There's a shit ton of cockies on the ground. But I need to be smart about this. Actually, I see that. Uh, whatever they're called. And I want to keep that intact. So I'm going to use my frying pan on you. Alright, they're dead. Yes, tank top. There we go. Frying pan. Aw, oh, come on, man. You you know I can't handle that. Mox Distillery Van, Master Horizon Key. Alright. Let's get to smacking. This is just going to be like last time. I'm going to run out of stamina. Let's uh, rearrange. Rearrange again. Come on, get one of them. Alright, that's one. I'm tired. What is that? That's three. That's four. That's five. And yes, I see that crawler. I need to keep backing up so it doesn't get my toes. That's six. That's seven, that's eight, that's nine. All right, they're all dead now. Okay. Oh, come on, man. Like, give me a break. There's a bunch of keys on the ground. And I mean a bunch. I haven't seen this many keys on the ground in a while. Maybe it makes you tired too, or the sleeps. I have a feeling they changed a lot of sleeping in Project Zomboid, since it seems like you need to do it more now. Is that just me, or is that... Right, if it doesn't have gas, I'm not going to attempt it. Alright, not going to attempt it. Okay, that, this runs. Wow. They had another key for something. I have Chevrolet nylon. Isn't that this thing? Yeah, that is the sedan. Ah, more zombies. Do I have don't feed the zombies on? If I do, I'm gonna na dis I'm, I'm gonna delete it if I do. Because don't feed the zombies. I hate that mod so much. And now I'm getting tired. Alright, they're dead. Uh, let's check the sedan. Since I know the sedan is one, just one of the best vehicles in the game. In my opinion. Because, well, it's just a... It's just your everyday call. Like, it might not be that good. 
but it can get the job done is what I'm saying like for multiplayer it's the perfect call if you have one or two friends uh, and it's pretty quiet too so you never know I will be comparing conditions though to see which one I decide to sleep in and take so wow holy shit this one is 86 what about you what about the sedan this one is 88 well, it's 88 too. My window has 85. What about this one's window? Oh my Jesus, I'm already two. 86. Yeah, no, I'm taking the uh, sedan. I need to drink water pretty soon because holy jeez. I will be sleeping in the camp though, but I need to drink water. Drink the entire cooking pot of water, my friend. Do it. Okay, that's actually a really good water bottle. Huh. Alright, I'll need to start using that more. Let's quickly add this gas. Corpse sickness, yeah, as if. The corpses, would, corpses would be cooking in here. Why am I dying? Is the heat killing me? Holy shit! You asshole! That genuinely scared me. I don't have the stamina to do this, my friend. Stop. Oh my god, just die. Thank you. My guy's so tired of this shit. <laughs> yeah. Is that the last of the gas or is there still more? There's still more. Holy crap. Now you might be thinking, why don't you just take the van? The van's loud and it's slow. But it is the car I'm best at driving. Jeez, how much gas does this thing have? I'm once again dying from thirst. It's fine for now. Alright, let's drink another half of that entire cooking pot of water. Then let's siphon some more gas. Now, my goal is just to survive a day with this heat. And so far, I'm doing it pretty well. And I'm queasy again. Yay! Oh, my jeez. This is corpse sickness because the flies. You see, you see the flies? That's why there's corpse sickness. Also, I'm officially out of water, basically. So I am going to need to go into a uh, building and get some water pretty soon. Not with this stamina, though. No way. Alright. How much gas does a sedan have now? Oh, bugger off. Full tank. Nice. Since, look, if I stand directly on top of it, I'll get corpse sickness. Oh, yeah, I have this mod on. Heh. <laughs> ho ho. Wait, do I have this mod on? Mods. All the interior. Yeah, okay. I do. 
I just doubted myself there. All right. Well, now that I remember I have this mod on, also this is one of the most ugly designs, but okay. All right, now that I have uh, this done, I'm gonna quickly sleep heal. And we will drive off into the sunset tomorrow morning because I'm considering this a win. Now, long term, if you really think about it, yeah, no, I could not survive this long term. Like, temperature heats up more and more every day. There's, there would be no way I could survive this long term. But short term, yeah, easily. Like, if you do your clothing right, like, I know I didn't do my clothing right since shoes and shit. I would take the most least insulating shoes, but I don't know if I could find one. Actually, getting holes in your shoes would be more efficient, I think. Even though stepping on glass would screw you over. It's just... Yeah, those are for less insulation. I'll wear those. Hey, chillax. Chillax, chillax. Chillax there, Zombo. Or as that one person calls them, devious little dubious little creatures or something like that. I can't fully remember. Uh, do any of you have just a pair of boxers? Since I'd rather wear that. Yes, you do. Okay. And then I'll keep the compression shorts just because. Alright. Let's see if there's any more gas. In any of these lads? There is on this one. Alright, let's see if we can get a full tank. Or a full extra gas. Alright, not full, but it would be enough gas to uh, save you in a situation where your car's out of gas. Yeah, it gets a uh, higher and higher temperature every day. Meaning the only way I would be able to survive it is eventually uh, hopping house by house. And the moment the power goes out, I'd be uh, screwed because this mod does not let what or uh, doesn't let it rain. So the only way I would live is like if I was smart about it. Which I'm not smart about anything, even though I have like a thousand hours in this game. <sighs> But, the short answer is, yes, I can survive a hundred days. Well, not, fuck. Wow, I've been watching way too much Project Zomboid videos. I was saying, yes, I can survive a day in Project Zomboid. Jeez. Alright, well. I am considering this a win. So, thank you for watching, guys. And I will see you next time. Thank you.